Hello there. In this video about chess curiosities, we are going to look at the game that I played and which is in itself a world record game. I found out years later that this was indeed a record. Let's first look at the game. I had the black pieces, but let's just look at it from the white side. We played the French defense. My opponent went to knight c3. My opponent was a grandmaster. This was played in the Icelandic Chess Championship in 2003. Actually, one of my best tournaments, I, I came third in the national championship behind the two grandmasters, including uh, Grandmaster Thorolson, who had white in this game. So he played knight e2, this line here against the Vinover French. E5, and I played knight g to e7. And most games when I play this line, I castle and then I go f6. But here my opponent played h4. So I didn't want to castle just yet because, well, he, he might be intending some, some rook maneuver or pushing the pawn. So first I wanted to see what was up. I played h6, h5. And here I was feeling adventurous and decided to open up the center. He came my bishop, decided to keep it, and put the pressure on this pawn here on d4. He wants to eliminate my bishop, and here I want to open up the center a little bit, feeling that I might be leading a little bit in development. His king is in the center, and, well, actually my king is in the center as well. Bishop e2, e4, and he decides to go back because now the pawn structure has changed and this has become more of a square to worry about. c3. And now the bishop comes to this nice diagonal. I decide to reroute my, uh, my knight. Knight wants to come here. Maybe I, I'm thinking about some c6 move to get this bishop back into the game at some stage. Knight e6. He wants to keep the bishop. Maybe I have some threats now on d4. Because the queen is lined up here, so he played queen b3, knight f5, and knight d6, eyeing this square. So I think I was feeling pretty happy around here. But rook h4 is interesting, putting pressure on my bishop, which I gave up here. May, may or may not be the best decision. Rook g4, I don't want to let uh, his rook in, so I played knight to g5. He played knight c5. And I guess I didn't feel like castling here. A4, B5 comes in pretty quickly. So Bishop A7 here first. Rook F4. Rook F8. And here we have some trades. Bishop takes C5. And my knight goes to C8. So now my opponent has two bishops. I have two knights. He attacks my pawn and Rook B8. So now actually I can't castle either side. Neither can he. C4. Seven. Took my uh, took my center pawn, and now he gets a nice tactic. And uh, about here, the game is about to be decided because I can't take because of the pin. And I'll take with the queen. Then I lose control of this knight, and everything falls apart. Uh, that's indeed what happened. Rook d8, and he nets another pawn here. This was a time trouble phase. I get one back though, but I'm down a pawn. And my king is slightly weaker. A5 trying to hold on. But now he actually gets the second pawn. And I'm trying to hold on here, get a, a grip on the light squares. But I'm simply two pawns down. My, my opponent has played a good game. We're in move 39. We play some more moves. Uh, I'm trying to stop his pass pawn here. But he actually trades it and gets the pawn on f4 instead so he's still up two pawns now he gets this pawn still up two pawns but now it's three against one the bishop pulls back and h6 i decide to go behind the pawn and then i realize uh, there's not much to be done he's going to pick up this pawn and this is what the game ended move 47 47 moves and you'll note that this king and this king, they haven't moved for the whole game. And this is the longest such game. 
in tournament chess history. I decided to recheck my database and found out that this record still holds. And I found out about it first on a web page, which is uh, run, uh, well, was run by Tim Krabbe. Hasn't been uploaded for a long time, but was very a very nice web page for a long time with some nice stories, nice record. And I found out there about this record. This is the longest game without either of the kings moving. So pretty nice to have a, you know, some sort of a world record, even though it's it's kind of insignificant in, it, in itself. But still, I think, you know, such things, like we mentioned in previous chess curiosity videos, these things can be interesting. And I certainly found this interesting, even though I am slightly invested, at least in this one. But Anyway, I hope you do enjoy such videos and you can show me appreciation by, by liking the video if you do. And I will see you soon in another chess video. Thank you for, you, for your attention and watching. Bye bye.